Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my new bookshelves. So, um, as you can see, I have bookshelves behind me. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that I did get new bookshelves. Um, these are the lovely bookshelves. Um, I'm so happy with how they look, so I wanted to show you guys the final tour of them. I will be posting a bookshelf reorganization later on, but I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the final product. Make sure you guys subscribe down below for new videos on Sundays. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. All my social media links are in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the tour. So this is my classic shelf. Um, excuse the camera angle. Uh, the tripod does not reach this tall. Um, so just ignore that, but I'll start off describing what like decorations I have on my shelf and then I will get into all the different books. So first off, I have this little Jekyll and Mr. Hyde little figurine. Then I have this little chest thing. Um, I just thought it kind of fit with the whole classic vibe. Then I have this little quill feather pen. And then as you can see in the back, I just have a painting that I painted. Um, I'll have the tutorial link down below in case you guys want to follow it. This is what it looks like. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Um, but basically the tutorial was from the Art Sherpa here on YouTube. Um, and I've followed many of her tutorials. I just find them to be the best at explaining. Um, so if you're into painting, I think that's a great way to learn. So now for the books. I'm not going to go through each individual edition um, because some of them are kind of obvious. So I'll just show them and yeah. So first off we have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, right. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This version of Pride and Prejudice, which is a collector's edition, but um, that's the book that goes in there. This is just the box. Sense and Sensibility and Sandition and Other Stories by Jane Austen. These are like her uncompleted works. Um, next we have Erasmus, Praise of Folly, Confessions by St. Augustine, Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is the 75th anniversary edition. 1984 by George Orwell, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, The Odyssey by Homer, Mythology by Edith Hamilton. These are just like some really old war poems, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Catabubasties by G.A. Henty, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, and Collected Poems by Emily Dickinson. And this is what the other edition of Pride and Prejudice looks like. Um, it's got silver gilded edges and really pretty end papers, <laughs> but it's also super tiny, like, um, that's the font size. So this is basically my Sarah J Mass shelf. Um, so for decoration, I have this little like apothecary jar, um, which kind of fits with the whole vibe of the prison healer, which I have on this shelf. And then up here, I have a painting of the night court from A Court of Thorns and Roses. And then I just have this like this rose that obviously roses. And then I just have this little ninja guy, because obviously Aelin is an assassin. So starting on this side of the shelf, I have Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And this does have an under the dust jacket design, which I think is so pretty. Like, just look at how cute that is. The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. 
all by Miss Mass. Catwoman Soul Stealer. Empire of Storms paperback edition. Throne of Glass, which I need to buy. Throne of Glass. And the Assassin's Blade, which I don't own in hardcover, just because I do prefer hardcovers to paperbacks. Crown of Midnight. Air of Fire. Queen of Shadows. Empire of Storms. Tower of Dawn. And of course, Kingdom of Ash. And then I do have the Throne of Glass coloring book. Um, I haven't actually colored anything in it yet. I'm kind of scared to because I don't want to like mess up the beautiful illustrations. So this is my next shelf. Um, I kind of have it themed red and black and white from here to here. And then the rest is just I don't, like it doesn't have a theme really. <laughs> Um, so, for decorations, I just have this little heart pencil sharpener, mainly because the Savage Song is right here, and the theme is, like, music, so that's why I have that. And I have my Zoya Nazalinsky pop figure that I repainted. This is just what she looks like. Lastly, I just have this jewelry box with some flowers on top. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. A Darker Shade of Magic, which I gave red sprayed edges. And next I have the boxed collector's edition set for A Darker Shade of Magic. So I have A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light, all by Miss Schwab. Next, I have Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween, Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, From Blood and Ash and A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout, King of Scars and Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, Muse of Nightmares, by Eleni Taylor. Carval, Legendary, and Finale by Stephanie Garber. Moving on to the next shelf. This is kind of like my sci-fi shelf slash Harry Potter shelf. So this is my little Harry Potter section. I don't want to pull everything out just because I have it like in there pretty good. So this is the Case of Beasts from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then I have the Harry Potter coloring book, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and then I just have these three little journals that I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Then I have this letter that has like this admittance letter. Um, this just came with a Gryffindor robe that I bought, and on the front it just says Mr. H. Potter, The Cupboard Under the Stairs, Number 4, Privet Drive. Then in the back, I have this faux leather with, like, metal Gryffindor journal, which has, like, nice parchmenty thick pages. Um, I don't know what to use this for, and I'm kind of scared to use it because it is such a nice journal that um, I don't want to, like, ruin it. And then I have these Harry Potter playing cards. And then this is the Triwizard Cup. I just have a bunch of like buttons and pins in there. And then here I just have the Deathly Hallows necklace. And then I have a Time Turner and a little Hermione pop figure. And then this is a wand that I made. Here I have Illuminae, Gemina, and Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So we have Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I have These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And I have Shatter Me by Tahara Moffey. And then I have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Lastly, on this side of the shelf, I just have this little um, Baby Yoda snow globe, which I thought would, you know, fit with the whole sci-fi theme. Um, and then here I just have this little fake plant on top of this like jewelry box chest thing. And then this is supposed to be a salt and pepper shaker, but I use it to 
store all my bookmarks and these are all hand painted um inspired by Akatar. so this one was inspired by akomath this one was inspired by akawar and this one was inspired by Akatar. <laughs> and then i won't show you this entire shelf just because it's mainly um textbooks and stuff like that. Over here is my movie collection with the exception of this sketchbook. I won't go through all the movies, but I have like The Princess Diaries, Anna Karenina, Inception, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lilo and Stitch, and Narnia, Pride and Prejudice, all of that. This shelf is just kind of like my fantasy and royalty shelf, I'm gonna call it. Um, so for decoration, I just have this little Eiffel Tower statue, but what's really cool about this is it actually comes out, right, and then it's a letter opener. Like, how cool is that? I will leave it linked down below if you guys also want to buy it. Then I have this little angel and stitch figurine, which came in a set I got from like a Disney outlet store. And then on top of the selection series, I have this little crown um, that came from a doll's head. And then on top of here, I just have this ring. Um, it's not really specific to any series. I just thought it looked good. And then I have this beaded bracelet, which if you've read the selection, you know it's kind of important to the plot. Um, this was just the closest bracelet that I had. So starting off, I have Lovely War by Julie Berry, aka my favorite book of all time. Then I have The Passion of Dulce, which originally, because I ordered it from thrift books, they sent me this ARC copy of the book. But then I, you know, told them like, hey, I ordered the hardcover version. So they sent me this, but it didn't come with the dust jacket. Um, and I accidentally, the, like, the thrift book sticker that comes on it, I ripped it off and the A came off, so not my finest moment. Um, but the spine also broke, but I fixed the spine and I added this, whoop, I almost just broke the spine again, oh my gosh, and I added this ribbon bookmark. Next I have Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. An Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night. A Reaper at the Gates and A Sky Beyond the Storm, all by Saba Tahir. Then I have American Royals and Majesty by Catherine McGee. I also have this paperback version, which has like the family tree in it. And then I have The Selection, The Elite, and The One by Kira Cass. Then I have The Heir and Happily Ever After. Then I have The Betrothed and The Betrayed, also by Kira Cass. Um, I didn't like the first one. I gave it two stars. The second one was better, like astronomically better, but I still gave it three stars. I just think I've outgrown her writing, but I do think if you're a younger audience, like 12, 13 years old, I think you'd really enjoy it. Um, but obviously I'm much older now, and I think I just have to say goodbye to... Miss Cass's writing. Although I do still dearly love the Selection series. Like, I think I'll be rereading that for the rest of my life. But the betrothed just missed the mark for me. Next, I have The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. And then I have The Crown's Game and The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. And lastly, I have The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. And I also have the Selection coloring book. <laughs> Um, I have colored a few scenes in here, um, like this one, hello my dear. Uh, I've also colored this one, Aspen in America in the treehouse. This one I have, whoops, fully colored as well. So this is the next shelf. Um, this is kind of like my urban fantasy slash historical fiction shelf with a little bit of contemporary. So for decoration, I have this little stitch figurine. Then over here, I just have this little pocket watch. Um, it doesn't really work. 
Um, but that is just what it looks like. And then uh, sitting over there, I have this other stitch figurine. Um, this is surfing stitch. Lastly, I just have this cup, this butterbeer mug full of highlighters and my sticky tabs that I use. And then I just have this little key hanging off of Clockwork Angel. So starting off with the books, I have Queen of Air and Darkness. This is just the reverse side of the dust jacket um, because it does have art on it and I liked the art. Um, so, and none of my other books have anything like this, like a reversible dust jacket. So I thought that was super cool. Um, that's just what it looks like. And then I have the entire Infernal Devices series. So I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And then I have Chain of Iron, and all of those were by Cassandra Clare. And I have The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And then I have The Maidens by Alex Michalades. Not sure how you pronounce his last name. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Piece of Deception by Mary E. E. Pearson, Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse, Last Christmas in Paris by Hazel Gaynor and Heather Webb, The Paris Secret by M Natasha Lester, Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller, Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker, The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro, Stalking Jack the Ripper, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. And I have Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. And And I Darken by Kirsten White, which I still have to take the sticker off this. So on the shelf for decoration, I have Elvis Stitch. I also have Hula Stitch. I have this little train pencil sharpener. And I have these... Peaks, Plateaus, and Canyons of the Colorado Plateau playing card set. So then over here, I just keep my annotation supplies, mainly my sticky notes. Um, they just look really cute from the side. And then I just have this little tin. So first up, we have Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. And can I just, like, show you guys this under the dust jacket because... Look at how beautiful that is. And then it also says Sky Hunter on the side. Like, this book is just stunning. Because You Love to Hate Me by a bunch of different authors. Halflings, Guardian and Avenger by Heather Birch. Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Legend by Marie Lu. Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. Fox by Nadine Brands. This is kind of my contemporary side. So I have... Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Wander Lost by Jen Malone. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Fangirl and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Always Never Yours by Emily Wiverly and Austin Sigmund Broca. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Only the Good Spy Young, Out of Sight, Out of Time, and United We Spy by Allie Carter. These are the last three books in the Gallagher Girls series. And All Fall Down, also by Allie Carter. So this is the bottom shelf. There's not really a theme here. It's just books that didn't fit on any other shelf. To the Moon and Back by Karen Kingsbury. Angels Walking and Brush of Wings. Between Sundays. A Time to Dance, In This Moment, The Chance, and A Distance Shore by Karen Kingsbury. This one just came out and it was really good. Then I have A Note Yet Unsung and A Lasting Impression by Tamara Alexander. Then I have The Jewel and the White Rose by Amy Ewing. I didn't like this series. Like, the concept sounded good, but the execution of it was just really poor. <laughs> Flipped by Wendelin V. Von Drainen, Unraveling and Unbreakable by Elizabeth Norris. This one arrived without the dust jacket. The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. Thousandth Floor and the Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. Ink by Alice Broadway. Again, the concept of this was really cool and the cover is just stunning. I mean, like, look at that foiling. Um, but the execution of it, not very good. And also, look at this under the dust jacket design. Like, how pretty is that? And these end pages, like, 
stunning. The Last Jihad by Joel C. Rosenberg. Maestra by L.S. Hilton. I got this book from the Dollar Tree mainly so I could paint the edges, but it did sound mildly interesting. I just have to get around to actually reading it. Zero Sum Game by S.L. Huang. Again, this is another one I painted the edges and I got it from the Dollar Tree. And Need to Know by Karen Cleveland. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. And lastly, Victoria by Helen Rappaport. Um, this is like a PBS book, but I found it at the Dollar Tree as well. And it had some really pretty pictures in it. And I just thought it was interesting. So this is the top of my smallest bookshelf. So here I just have this little like quill holder with a quill pen in it. Then I have this little jar of ink. And then I have the complete novels of Jane Austen. This is a very pretty edition. Um, it's the Canterbury Classics edition. Um, like those end pages, look at how pretty. And of course the cover and it has gold gilded edges. Like, ugh, it's one of my favorite editions of a book. This is another painting I did by the Art Sherpa. And this is my feather pen set that a friend gave to me. This is like my overflow classics, which didn't really fit on that really short shelf that I have the rest of my classics on slash my fairy tale shelf. So for decoration, I have this little L ornament. Um, I just thought, you know, cause it's fairy tales and I love Beauty and the Beast. Um, I mean, I will put this on my tree come Christmas time, but for now she just sits on my shelf. Um, and then here I just have this little well pencil sharpener, which I was like, oh, you know, um, Snow White and the little wishing well. Lastly, I just have this fake candle um, that I just keep on the shelf. I have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The U.S. Constitution and Other Writings, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm, and Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. And that's all for my Overflow Classic collection. I have Alex and Eliza and Love and War by Melissa De La Cruz. Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Um, I forgot to mention that I have this little Moana necklace, um, which has the Heart of Tafiti in it. My friend made me the like necklace part and I made the stone that goes inside of it. Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. A Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer. Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress by Marissa Meyer. Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. The Two Princesses of Bamar by Gil Carson Levine. This is my reading journal. Um, I won't show you guys now, but I will do a flip through at the end of the year. Um, this is my National Park book. Um, so basically they have like stamps you can get when you go to the national parks and you put them in when you go to the park. And then I have my Disney World signature book. So this is like my non-fiction shelf. So I have this painting that my friend made. I have this flute. I have a dreidel. And I have a Lilo and... Why can't I remember this green dude's name? Um, I literally can't remember the green dude's name. Why can I not? I don't know. Lilo and Stitch is like my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> uh, I have Fighting for Life by Lila Rose. Feisty and Feminine by Penny Young Nance. Lies Young Women Believe by Nancy Lee DeMoss and Dana Gresh. The Screwtape Letters, Mere Christianity and Surprise by Joy by C.S. Lewis. The Jesus I Never Knew by Philip Yancey. Uninvited by Lisa Turkhurst. The Old Fashioned Way by Ginger Kolbaba. Quest for Love, Let Me Be a Woman and Passion and Purity by Elizabeth Elliot. The Other Side of Beauty by Leah Durrell. Get Lost by Dana Gresh. Discrimination and Disparities by Thomas Sowell. Blackout by Candace Owens. Front Lines by Isabel Brown. With All Due Respect by Nikki Haley. Courage to Soar by Simone Biles. Fierce by Allie Raisman. 
Grace, Gold, and Glory by Gabby Douglas. I've had this book since like fourth grade. <laughs> I remember reading it so many times. Winning Balance by Sean Johnson. Letters to a Young Gymnast by Nadia Komenich. Secret Believers by Brother Andrew and Al Jansen. In Order to Live by Yimmy Park. The Hiding Place by Corey Tinboom. The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Four Loves by C.S. Lewis. The Dictionary of Body Language by Joe Navarro. You're Not Enough and That's Okay by Allie Beth Stuckey. One of my all-time favorite books. Chasers of Light by Tyler Knott Gregson. Enchanted Air by Margarita Engel. The Story by Max Licato and Randy Frizee. And Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. So I'm not going to go through this entire shelf. Mainly it's just Bibles, journals, and yearbooks, but I will go through my like makeup books. I have Making Faces by Kevin Aquan, About Face by Scott Barnes, Beauty and Style by Lauren Conrad, The Beauty Workbook by Cynthia Robbins, Makeup Manual by Bobby Brown, The Glam Guide by Fleur DeForce, and it is actually signed as well. I did get this secondhand from Half Price Books, so yeah pretty cool. Great Hair by Nick Orojo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what your favorite book is. I'm curious to know and I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you back here on Sunday. Ciao Bellas!